Welcome to part two of Searching the Literature in Health from Southern Cross University Library. Searching effectively can seem very daunting. In this video we will equip you with some tools to take your vague research idea, organise it into a table of keywords using the key concepts of the question, and also we'll demonstrate some standard database research conventions. In the next video we will de demonstrate the search from the table into the Senile database. Here are some secret librarian tips you can use to make your searching more efficient and effective. I'm going to start with the following example. You are working with elderly people in a residential setting and are wondering if there's evidence that the annual flu vaccinations actually reduce morbidity. The first step is to isolate the key concepts of your problem. This can be helped by using the PICO model, P, that's P-I-C-O, which helps to unpack the concepts into population or phenomenon of interest, intervention, in this case the flu vaccination, comparison and outcome, the outcome being reduced morbidity. Other models are avail available for qualitative research questions. To organise my concepts, I'm going to start a table in PowerPoint. You could create one in Word or with paper and pencil, making a column for each concept. I'm going to add some more synonyms to these columns shortly. Before I do, let's look at some useful search techniques. Keywords and synonyms. Here's where you get to brainstorm all of the different terms that you can use starting with the population, which is elderly people. Here are some alternative phrases or synonyms, like older people, aged, in old age, geriatric, frail aged, etc. Also, consider variations on a word which might include American or Australian spellings. Now to Boolean logic. Boolean searching uses three simple operators or commands, and, or, not. We apply these to our concepts to simplify our searching. Let's start with or, which is used to make sure that all of possible keyword variations within a concept are included. Searching hand washing or hand hygiene will retrieve all articles which contain either of those terms and you can have more than one OR. When we use AND, each article must include both of the terms hospital acquired infection and hand washing. AND always gives you a smaller number of results. The last one is a NOT search, which is sometimes used to eliminate a term that you do not want, which might appear in a lot of irrelevant articles. But be careful, because sometimes articles may include a word, such as children, but the article still might be quite suitable anyway. Here are some sample Boolean searches. In the first row, adolescents or teachers or teenagers are synonyms, so we put an OR between them. And the brackets around them mean that they are search first, and then that search will be combined with AND with the term aggression. This will narrow it down. The more ANDs you have, as in this second example, the narrower it will become like women and breastfeeding and indigenous. In the third example, we have created nests. One is the flu nest in round brackets. The second nest is the vaccination terms and it is combined with AND. And the last example is a NOT example. Some other techniques include phrase searching and these are used for terms like quality of life. Just put double quotes or inverted commas around the actual phrase. The words are then searched in that order. Truncation symbols retrieve variant word endings. 
With the asterisk symbol you see educat asterisk retrieves any word starting with the stem word educat. In the second example we may have put the asterisk a little far back in the word as you'll see the words on the bottom that are highlighted in red may not be what we want so maybe it'd be better to put the asterisk after the S or Z. Wildcards work within a word to get variations. A typical one is S or Z, woman or women, etc. So the, it could be an A or an E, an S or a Z. Use the hash symbol for one or no letters in EBSCO databases. So the hash O hash will retrieve either O U or O with no letters, and aging no letters or E. Now we are going to combine all of these techniques into our search table. So first of all, under elderly people, I'm going to put the term elderly people also, or the term old age or frail aged or geriatric. And with influenza vaccine, alternatives words could be influenza or flu and vaccination, immunization, flu vax. Or we could just search the term influenza vaccine as a phrase. In our outcome area we have morbidity or effectiveness or efficiency or outcome. I think those words could be helpful as well. So now we're ready to search. We will open Sinal in the next video and we will use these search terms. This is the end of our presentation.